many of you know I've had more problems with this series than I have with any other. Not problems with the series itself, but with putting up these reviews and them getting called for copyright infringement. Welcome to the heart of the stories we tell. My name is Rob, and tonight I will be reviewing the mid-season wrap-up of MacGyver, the new series on CBS. And you know what? There's not that much to go over this time. Normally I say there's a lot to unpack, but since I can't put up images of anything going on in the individual episodes, I find myself at a loss. And on top of that, it might be the worst show I review. Which isn't saying much, because I love all the shows, including this one. But this one, I'm afraid, is getting a copper. The stories range from good to meh, but they also have a lot of problems with internal consistency. So, I want to... I want to like this show, I really do as a MacGyver fan, but before I get into why I don't, let's get into the spoiler territory. Spoilers for all the way up to the mid-season break, and we're going to start at the best of it, the good. I will give it to it, this show has heart, and it's trying, and one of the things that it tries and does very well at is separating what MacGyver is and isn't. It would be way too easy for the show to just make MacGyver good at everything, and that's the go-to. But he's not. He's really good at physical problem solving. And they keep to that, and they keep to that by having Riley be the hacker, and they keep to that by having other characters show up that are just as badass as him, just in different ways. And I love that. That alone is probably one of the main reasons I'm still watching. It does capture just the exact amount of the part that Richard Dean Anderson made so famous. And it does it with its second best part, the MacGyverisms. MacGyverisms are those little things that he manages to pick up and just fix and make work. And you know what? They put a lot of damn effort into making sure that they are both believable and interesting and fun. And that's kind of hard. I give them a lot of shit during my weekly reviews over them when I sit there and say, Oh, this one isn't believable, this one's this, this one's that. But when you think about it, they put a lot of effort into this. And it shows. The original MacGyver didn't have to put up with Mythbusters busting it, and didn't need to worry about whether or not we'd seen the same trick a hundred times before, because we hadn't. MacGyver was relatively new, and in the 80s we weren't seeing a hundred shows like this and Burn Notice and everything else. So all in all, it's really good, and they modernized a bunch of it too. When he made that keyboard by touching metal spikes together, that was friggin' awesome. I will also say I like the cast. Unfortunately, that's where the good ends, and now we're going to get into the bad, and the bad's a long list. I don't like going to the realism thing too much, because these shows are obviously fantasy and escapism. But I have this problem with the Phoenix Foundation in general. In the original series, it was obviously a spy organization, it was obviously what it was trying to do, but that was in the 80s. Now with Homeland Security... I sit there and I question just how autonomous an organization like it could be, and why it is such an organization has so little oversight. And then, on top of that, staying with the Phoenix Foundation concept, well, they work in a lot of ideas that seem to work. The problem is, is that the overall concepts could use a little more refining. If every mission they went on had someone going over it for maybe 15 more minutes in the writing room, I'd probably be a little happier. And there's just far too much reliance on the Phoenix Foundation. Episodes of MacGyver back in the original series were quick to have him have a problem that he could solve that wasn't military or spy-based. If we had one or two of those episodes to break it up, I think the episodes would go much better. And that leads us to the last one, The Ugly. And The Ugly might be the worst mistake anyone could make when doing a remake. Because at the end of the day, when you compare this to the original the original still stands up better. And that's sad. Now, of course, there's some nostalgia factor in there. The fact that I grew up with Richard and Dean Anderson being MacGyver. But overall, not just myself, but over and over again, all I hear fans say is it's not as good as the original. And yeah, there's a certain amount of, hey, isn't that what everyone says with every remake? Yeah. But there was a lot of potential here. Especially with the fact that with modern technology being so different, the idea of integrating a hacker, the idea of homeland security and terrorism being at an all-time high, there was a lot you could have done with MacGyver. And I just feel like they've kind of wasted their potential. Like, they just don't care enough. They're just doing a paint-by-numbers remake. 
This isn't a horrible show, and to be honest, if I had nothing better to watch, I would probably continue to watch it, and I'm probably going to still see some of the episodes. But overall, I just can't recommend that maybe just do just about anything else. But those my thoughts. I wonder what you've been thinking about it. Let me know down in the comments. I've already been corrected once or twice with a few of these parts of this episode, and I'd love to hear if you guys think maybe I'm wrong. Should I give this another chance? Should I continue reviewing it? Again, let me know down in the comments. To be fair, the legal trouble I've had with these reviews has also jaded me. So, there's part of me that thinks that if I didn't constantly have to defend myself to CBS, unlike every other station that I review things on. But I don't know. For now, if you like this video, let me know. And even if you didn't, if you just want to hear more of my insane and wacky ideas about what's a good and bad story, give me a subscribe. I'm trying to build a community here to walk through the heart of all the stories we tell.